Hi, my name is Daniel Young. I'm a lieutenant assigned to operations here at Ashburn Station 6. We staff an engine, a tower, and a medic unit. I primarily rotate between the engine and the tower. I've been with Loudoun County Fire and Rescue since 2013. I've been in Fire and EMS since 2008. I was about 16 when I started. I uh, had a really interesting experience. I started as a, uh, what I thought was taking a first aid class. Um, it was actually a, uh, an EMT class and I really didn't enjoy it. But I got around some people as I started volunteering that were really passionate about the jobs and really good clinicians. I started in the uh, city of Hagerstown for community rescue service. They sponsored me through uh, as a volunteer and hired me. Uh, I got my paramedic through them and worked with them in, uh, for about eight years. During that time, I got to work at a bunch of different jurisdictions and hospital-based paramedic, and it helped me develop as a clinician and really solidified my passion for EMS. Um, I continued to look for as many options as I could, and that's what led me to Loudoun County. Uh, in 2013, I joined the department as a, uh, as a recruit with Class 29, and uh, my assignments here have, have really given me a, a lot of options. I've worked as a backstep firefighter, as a technician, and as an officer. Uh, I've also had opportunities to be assigned as a paramedic preceptor and aid as a paramedic. In my time in Loudoun County, I was given a lot of opportunities. Uh, most notably, I was given the uh, sponsorship to get the highest globally recognized ALS certification, which is the flight paramedic, uh, while receiving my EMS supervisor training. So I get to work as a fill-in EMS supervisor. Um, this department has offered me a wide variety of options to excel as a clinician. I've had a lot of different assignments in this department. I've been able to work in each battalion and for a lot of different officers. I've, I've been able to pick something up and learn from each officer. Um, and most notably, the EMS division has provided countless hours of mentorship and helped me develop as a clinician. The, uh, they've really helped move me along as both an officer and as a paramedic and given me the opportunity to practice at the extreme of my scope of practice. Once you start into this, it's really important that you, you pass along the information that you have um, and that you stay humble. Uh, this is a job that if you don't stay humble, it will humble you. You'll be in situations that'll be beyond your abilities and it's important to have built up a team and to work with a team um, so that you can reach out and most importantly that you're teachable. You're going to make mistakes. Everybody makes mistakes. Um, I think it's important that you learn from those mistakes and you find others that you can teach uh, the lessons that you've learned. Nobody expects you to be perfect, but we expect you to try your hardest. I would say you've got to find some way or somebody that you can attach to that would make you help you develop to be the best practitioner that you can be of EMS. It's a privilege to get out here and serve our community and you need to find those mentors in your profession that really make you want to strive to take advantage of every opportunity. Um, the next thing I would say is have a good source of balance between this wonderful job, this awesome job and life. You've got to have an outlet. You've got to be able to be diverse in what you do. For myself, I picked up flying. Um, I think aviation is an awesome career, and there's a lot of cool parallels. But I'll tell you, um, it's just it's neat to be able to look at the community from a different view and uh, be able to serve each and every person here in Loudoun County.